Hello, have a pleasant day to each and everyone. I am Richard Nunday and I am the first reporter from Group 4. So for today's video, we will be talking about the rules and competencies of school heads. And I am the first speaker, but before that, I want you to listen carefully, enjoy, and relax. So I wanted to read first the objectives. So at the end of this chapter, you should be able to discuss the competencies expected of school heads as contained in competency frameworks for Philippines and for Southeast Asia. Based on the Chapter 1, Section 5E of Republic Act 9155 states that the school head is an administrative and an instructional leader. For the national competency-based standards for school heads, there are domains in competency strengths. For the domain 1, we have school leadership. And it has a developing and communicating vision, mission, goals, and objectives, database strategy planning, problem solving, building high performance teams, coordinating with others, leading and managing change. And for the domain two, we have instructional leadership, assessment for learning, developing programs or adapting existing programs, implementing programs for instructional improvement, and instructional supervision. And for the domain three, we have creating a student-centered learning climate. So it has setting high social and academic expectations, creating school environments, focus on the needs of the learner. And for the domain four, we have HR management and professional development. And it has creating a professional learning community, recruitment and hiring, managing performance of teachers and staff. And for the domain five, we have parent involvement and community partnership parental involvement, external community partnership. And of course, for the domain 6, we have school management and operations. It has managing school operations, fiscal management, use of technology in the management of operations. And for the domain 7, we have personal and professional attributes and interpersonal effectiveness. So it has a professionalism, communication, interpersonal sensitivity, fairness, honesty, and integrity. Competency Framework for Southeast Asian School Head 2014 There are five domains of competency framework for Southeast Asian School Heads. These are the stakeholder engagement, instructional leadership, personal excellence, managerial leadership, and strategic thinking and innovation. Stakeholder engagement, promoting shared responsibility for school improvement, managing education, alliances, and networks, sustaining collaborative relationship with stakeholders. Instructional leadership, leading curriculum implementation and improvement, creating a learner-centered environment, supervising and evaluating teachers' performance, delivering planned learning outcomes. Personal excellence, managing personal effectiveness, acting in challenges and possibilities, pursuing continuous professional development, managerial leadership, managing school resources and system, managing staff performance, managing sustainable school programs and projects, strategic thinking and innovation, charting the strategic direction of the school, making informed decisions, leading change and innovation. So for the continuation, domains and competences for school head in Southeast Asia. The competency framework for Southeast Asian school heads also include domains for instructional leadership and administrative leadership. The instructional leadership encompasses four competences. First is the leading curriculum implementation and improvement, creating a learner-centered environment, supervising and evaluating teachers' performance, and delivering planned learning outcomes. While the administrative leadership includes strategic thinking and innovation, which is the domain one, stakeholders engagement, which is the domain four, managerial leadership, which is the domain five. So personal excellence is another domain, which is the domain three, relates to both instructional and administrative leadership. So school head and the community. Schools in the community are partners in the education of the child. In the NCBSSH, or the National Competency-Based Standards for School Head, 
several strands and motivators point to this school and community partnership. The strands are as follows. It explains the school vision to the general public, the new public, aligns the school improvement plan or annual improvement plan with national, regional, and local education policies and trust domain 1B. Communicate effectively is IP or AIP to internal and external stakeholders, which is the domain 1B. Involves stakeholders in meetings and deliberations or decision making, which is the domain 1D. Provides feedback and updates to stakeholders on the status of progress and completion of programs and projects. Creates and manages a school process to ensure student progress is conveyed to students and parents or guardians regularly, which is the domain 2C. Recognizes high-performing learners and teachers and supportive parents and other stakeholders, which is the domain 3A. Prepares financial reports and submits communicates the same to higher education authorities and other education partners, which is the domain 6B. Maintains harmonious and pleasant personal and special relations with superiors, colleagues, subordinates, learners, parents, and other stakeholders, which is the domain 7A. Listens to stakeholders, needs, and and responds appropriately in consideration of political, social, legal, and cultural context. In the Tower Education Competency Framework, the following competences strengthen school and community partnership. First is the promoting shared responsibility for school improvement. Second is managing education alliances and networks. And the third is sustaining collaborative relationships with stakeholders.